Earth. A lot has happened in the last century. We fought world wars and killed millions of people. And then we discovered the nuclear bomb. A lot of us did. But since the use of it would mean a mutual assured destruction, we decided not to use them. And so there was no space for another world war. And so there was peace. But that's not the end of it. Because with this peace, there came a new playground, economy. With a bigger and better economy comes power. The biggest party after the World Wars were the United States. And they started trading and investing with China. A lot. Like, really a lot. So much so, that they are seen as the core of the world economy, called Chimerica. This economy is so big, that breaking it up would cause damage to both sides, but also to the entire world. China and the United States are each other's biggest importers and exporters. But look at the difference between the two in export. A big loss for the United States. Or the difference in growth of industry. A loss for the US again. And it's even worse in the growth of economy. So the US are losing their top position and helping their biggest competitor, but can't break loose from it. You would think this would cause some conflict between the two. War, perhaps? But it doesn't seem that way. Since 2009, both parties meet each other twice a year to discuss their environment, politics, and economy. They also give each other friendly phone calls to support each other in case of a disaster or an emergency, and send each other the occasional letter. So they seem like great buddies, right? Or perhaps not, because they are actually enemies because of their economic situation and in war. They are fighting, but where? Because when you can't fight on water, on land, in the sky, or even in space, where can you? In cyberspace, the world of computers. Why cyberspace? It's a new world no one can see. And because it's so new, there are no rules or laws. It's very easy and cheap. It's very fast. And it's a bit like a computer game. There are no soldiers actually dying. Everyone stays alive. So, how do you fight a war in cyberspace? Well, damage is done with just the click of a mouse. The United States tries to damage the Chinese economy by producing a virus that damages machines and factories. And China tries to steal technology by hacking into USA government computers. There have been many attacks on both sides like Titan Rain, Operation Aurora, Operation Shot Giant, and many more. But it's not just the United States and China that are in war. With viruses like Stuxnet in Israel, Operation Moonlight Gaze from Russia, and the cyber spying of the NSA on the entire European Union, this virus has spread around the globe. So, is there peace? Is the Cold War really over? Or are we already living in the Third World War, but we just can't see it? The answer is yes. A lot of nations have a special army department for cyber warfare, like the U.S. Cyber Command and the Chinese PLA Unit 61398, where soldiers are in war every minute of the day, fighting off hacker attacks. So there is a new world war, with new powers and new technologies. Not to kill people, but to kill economies, which gives world power. But all we see is the charade, and we give a standing ovation.